So hello, hello. everyone, and um, a very, very warm welcome to uh, one of my favorite students, <laughs> Kunal Kukreja, who's uh, Thank you. Um, a Damsonian now. He joined our three-year combo course, right, Kunal? And which year did you join us? Uh, I'm second year MBBS. I started. Yes. So he's been with us in dance yeah. school. And um, he's been a foundation studio, st student, which is a three-year combo course, and he's done exceedingly well. So firstly, a heartiest congratulations to you, your parents. Uh, this is a fantastic achievement. And um, uh, I would like to know the score from you. That is, that is a better way. What was your score for <laughs> yourself? Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, my score was 662 out of 800. Fantastic. And Fantastic. And uh, this is this is really one of the, uh, one of the uh, absolutely fantastic achievements from Dams Pune. Uh, I know that you've been working hard. I know uh, we've been interacting over the last few years, including with your, I know your parents have been a very big support factor. All right. So let's start from right from the beginning. Let Tell me a little bit about your journey. When did you join us? When did you actually think about preparing for PG. Let's start with that. Uh, so ma'am, uh, uh, as many of my seniors had uh, also joined DAMS, so I was uh, so I was thinking I'd join in third year part one. But uh, DAMS came up with an idea of uh, having a pre-foundation sort of course for second year so that we have our basics of uh, um, physiology, you know, pathology, pharmacology, the first and second year subjects. So I started my lectures uh, that time only, which helped me develop my core basic concepts, which is rather essential for uh, understanding medicine, surgery, obstetrics. So I started uh, back then. Uh, I was not really serious back then. I would uh, uh, just come listen to the lectures and do nothing actually. More than that, I, I would just read my standard textbook, uh, Robbins or uh, any other any other textbook of second year and uh, since from third year part one i started doing this more sincerely uh, i started uh, doing some mcqs i started seeing uh, i i also remember that i saw, saw your class twice so mm -hmm. once in second year and then once in final year for revision so uh, started making proper notes then so second year was was more of learning how to study what to study and then um, i really started applying that from third year part one and uh, all faculty was really good ma'am for yeah. starting from you uh for yeah so the first class i attended was physiology yes. um, by you so yes. uh, everyone was really supportive one really good uh, Art was flexible. There were two, three classes, two, three classes every year, like that. Uh, so that was really helpful. And uh, Dam's notes are really good. That is the best part yeah. because I think they're concise. They help you to stay to the point, and it's easy to revise one week before the exam. That is uh, unfortunately mm -hmm. gone. That, that is something which all students get back to us and they tell us that uh, it was the concise nature of the notes which made which helped them revise those notes again and again. They could yeah. manage to, you know, do them again and again. And that probably helps you in retaining the information. And, uh, exactly. uh, you know, it's, it's not just reading, not just understanding. You also have to retain that information and then apply it when you, are, uh, when you appear in your exams. So that is definitely, uh, that is something which I'm sure. Um, uh, now, uh, when you said you started sort of preparing seriously from your pre-final year, from your, uh, right? And did you yes. also do MCQ simultaneously or did you just concentrate on uh, concept building, making notes, or did you also start your MCQ simultaneously or later? I'm um, honestly uh, not many MCQs. Okay. Very, very little. I would say perhaps nil. It was more concept building. It was okay. more building, uh, okay. making notes and reading the standard textbook and sometimes doing MCQs. Some And mostly MCQs I used to do of the subjects that I used to have uh, having MUHS exam. 
for yeah. example i'll be doing ophthalmology and ent mcqs so because i didn't really get time to do physiology mcqs so physiology i just used to read the notes no. physiology mcq no. intern intern year in fact this is the next thing that i wanted to ask you was how helpful was this preparation what you were doing for neat neat pg how helpful was it in your college exams did it help you Ma'am, yes totally 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 and so if most of the saqs and the leqs that are asked in our muhs exam many of them are actually there inside the dam so you just need to expand those notes you need to explain see so, so basically you have, you need to just divide them into headings you need to divide the the whole topic into six parts and write it down and even uh, i remember something say in obstetrics uh, obstetrics and gynecology also so ma'am would rather explain us with a diagram or something like that so you can draw the diagram in um, your muhs exams as well so direct correlation direct correlation i most of most of those exams i used to be reading dams notes on the morning before my theory paper fantastic and uh, i know that um, you ha- even though you said you didn't do too many mcqs but i do know for a fact that you did take your tests very regularly and uh, yes, especially in the last year so a little bit about yes, that how many tests and how helpful were the tests in and which tests did you take yes ma'am ma'am uh, when i started my preparation it was more of subject tests to identify a very specific area of weakness so for example i was faltering in uh, biochemistry i was specifically faltering in enzymes so how so i made some charts and uh, and you know those uh, examples of competitive and non competitive inhibitor something like that and as as my uh, schedule kept on going in 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 intern year my main focus was to do grant tests and grant tests as many as possible so i have given probably 20 20 grant tests uh, plan was 10 15 but because the exams kept on getting delayed so more and more grant tests but grant tests is the most helpful thing definitely uh, one of the reasons is mental capability you know uh, so where do i reach after one hour where do i reach after one and a half hour which question to leave or so many of the things aim to more need to be more uh, amped more because it's every 15 days i used to grant test and sometimes every week also so four grant tests before the exam fantastic in, in the last week. how helpful were the video explanations did you go through the video explanations of the faculty yes ma'am uh, not all video explanations because i found them actually very time consuming but some of the video explanations were really nice so uh, so uh, so if i'm faltering at radiology so i'll see only the radiology part so in in cbts they had those CB, uh, those explanations divided into various subjects so you can specifically go to that question and see so i didn't see all 200 questions or all 300 questions according whatever the pattern was i used to more see only those 20 questions or 30 questions where i have faltered and you can actually do that in the app it's a very good option yes one more point which i want to uh, wanted to ask you was you know there has been um, there has been change in pattern there has been you know a lot of clinical a lot of talk about clinical questions a lot of did you face any now you've been a student with us for a few years now did you face that uh, any difficulty in making the transition from the old pattern to what is now the new pattern of questions or it was it a seamless transition or did you have to make some special effort to focus towards these uh, clinical questions not really ma'am it was not really difficult it was more like uh, so uh, i would after the change in pattern i would less focus on the most common part of the notes so at notes you have so many most common most common most common and those things gradually became less important and what was more important was whether the this uh, this disease is painless or painful uh, indurated or non indurated so clinical part became more important oh. but but uh, there was no change because actually the notes were clinical as well so so the notes remain the same the concepts remain the same and in fact the good part was you have more time yes. you have only 200 questions so 
Yeah, I like that part. Yes, this was much more manageable because there was uh, the number of questions. Had increased. Yes, there were there were different pattern, but they had they had also given you sufficient time to uh, to be able to think and answer those questions. So that is uh, that is something which all students are giving us the feedback that they were able able to revise as well and go through yes, um, uh, whatever the marked questions were. So uh, yeah. I'm glad that this this transition from the old to the new pattern was not difficult for you, and you found that whatever you had, whatever knowledge you had acquired, you could apply it to all these clinical and analytical questions. Definitely, ma'am. Even uh, one of the ways I so when need got delayed by four months, uh, what many of us had done uh, was so the three of us one would say the physiology part of it, say GIT. one would say the pathology part of it one would say the medicine part of it and then we'll together see git drugs like to you know just uh, we were getting bored so this was also a very helpful thing so git 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 of all subjects then respi 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 of all subjects and that is actually very helpful in the new pattern because yeah. the new pattern actually has three subjects in one question absolutely right and this is exactly what we've brought out this year you know uh, this year we've started our um, our integrated teaching now we have if it's recipe then it's medicine then physio anatomy physio pathology pharmacology so it's all been done system wise and that's exactly yes, and where have we learned to do this is from our students from people like you who've told us that this is the way we found uh, you know studying the most uh, you know when we studied system wise and we integrated yes. all our uh, information we found it much more uh, easier to understand retain and then use that knowledge yes, that's exactly what we are doing so it's it's actually you know feedback from students like you who tell us who keep us uh, informed and then then we bring about those necessary changes so we brought in that change this year simply because we want to tackle the clinical pattern now now yes, tell me what are your plans ahead that is something which i really want to know and um ma'am first of all i want to enjoy uh, <laughs> that is uh, yeah. so Yes, there's been yeah, hard work, you know. But I must share something with you. So today, in the day, uh, I, I wasn't able to speak with you. Uh, you were busy, and I spoke with your dad, and we were actually planning. I said, "Ab, um, ab, Kunal ko bolna hai ki US Emily bido." So <laughs> we were planning all that between the two of us, and then of course I had a good laugh because I said, "Abhi to uska result aaya hai," and we are already planning that. Um, uh, you know, you you must do your fellowship abroad at least. but yeah. um, what is the subject i know of course i know what you want but i want everybody else to know what uh, what so you have subject is going to be general surgery yes and that was always the subject uh, yes. the location will be important and that is the thing i have to decide in the next uh, few yes. weeks the order of filling and all those things yes 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 and i know that you um, your father is also a doctor and how instrumental have your parents been in your journey yes ma'am uh, definitely so right from the start so first of all motivation that is the most es- essential thing yes. uh, guiding along the right path what textbooks to read what textbooks not to read and uh, as my father uh, also has been on the same path the same textbooks and then uh, a lot of motivation during the gts so many of my gts didn't go according to plan as you know you know sometimes i felt really bad so one of those gts i got a rank of 2000 1000 yeah. which is actually way worse than what i'm getting in neat right now yeah. so how to you know uh, so basically not that. fall not fall back into negativity yeah. that is how they helped me really yes 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 so i i know i know they've been very very supportive they have been uh, your literally your strength in this uh, in this journey yes ma'am yes and one always needs um, you know support from family and they've been more than uh, i know that for a fact that they've been very very supportive uh, yes ma'am so uh, uh, thank you so much kunal for all that you have shared with us today and i can only wish you the very best in whatever you take up and uh, i would it will be a privilege to keep in touch with you thank you so much and god bless
thank you so much ma'am uh, congratulations to you as well uh, i think almost all of uh, all 200 all top 500 you know, people are your students only so <laughs> many many congratulations to you as well and definitely uh, we will keep in touch thank you so much thank you so much and god bless thank you